Let's take a look and see which is greater, 1 half or 7 eighths. So you could do this on a calculator, 1 divided by 2, get a decimal, 7 divided by 8, get a decimal and compare them. You'll see that 7 eighths, that is larger than 1 half. And you can kind of just look at them. 1 goes into 2 twice, 7, that doesn't go into 8 just once, maybe a little bit of a remainder. The other way to do it is find a common denominator, something that 2 and 8 both go into evenly, because then we could just compare the numerators. So why don't we take 2 times 4, because that would give us 8. And then down here, we already have 8 in our denominator. Let's just keep that as 7 eighths. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 4. We need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. 4 over 4, it's just 1. Multiplying by 1, we don't change the value, just the way it's written. 1 times 4, that's 4. Now we have the same denominator, we can compare the numerators. And you can see that 7 is greater than 4, so 7 eighths, that's greater than 4 eighths. And you can tell how much, just 3 eighths. So that's quite a bit though. These are equivalent fractions, 1 half and 4 eighths. They have the same value, 0 0.5 as a decimal. And since 7 eighths here is greater than 4 eighths, 7 eighths therefore is greater than 1 half. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.